Do cultural differences affect attitudes toward female masturbation? What is the importance of open communication about sexual fantasies in a relationship? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, cultural differences can influence attitudes toward female masturbation. Some cultures may be more open and accepting of masturbation as part of sexual health, while others may have more conservative attitudes. Open communication about sexual fantasies in a relationship is essential to strengthen emotional connection and intimacy. It facilitates building trust, mutual understanding, and the possibility of exploring desires consensually, enriching sexual life and contributing to a stronger and more satisfying relationship. Alternative Therapies The Kama Sutra has inspired the development of alternative therapies, such as tantric therapy, which focus on improving emotional and sexual connection between couples through specific techniques. Anatomical Factors Women's preferences for sexual positions may be influenced by anatomical factors, such as the shape and sensitivity of the clitoris, vaginal depth, and sensitivity of other erogenous zones. Anorgasmia and masturbation. Some individuals with anorgasmia may be able to experience orgasms through masturbation, but not during sexual intercourse with another person, suggesting possible psychological or emotional factors involved. Anorgasmia and pain disorders. Some individuals experience pain during sex, which can hinder the ability to reach orgasm. Effectively treating pain disorders can help improve sexual response. Anorgasmia and psychological disorders. Anorgasmia may be associated with psychological disorders such as depression, anxiety, or post-traumatic stress disorder, which can negatively affect sexual function and enjoyment. Anorgasmia in men. Although less commonly discussed than in women, anorgasmia can also affect men, causing difficulties in achieving orgasm during sexual intercourse. Aromatherapy. Using essential oils and aromatherapy during foreplay can stimulate the senses and create a sensorially rich experience, contributing to a deeper state of relaxation and arousal. Balloon fetishism. In this fetish, individuals find sexual arousal from inflating, touching, or even popping balloons, either in real life or represented. Breastfeeding fetishism. Some people experience sexual arousal from breastfeeding or observing breastfeeding, this fetish may be related to the intimacy and emotional connection associated with breastfeeding. In some native communities in Canada, sexual education programs led by elders and traditional leaders have been developed, integrating ancestral knowledge about sexuality with contemporary approaches to public health and well-being. Clitoral stimulation. Many women find that positions allowing direct clitoral stimulation either manually or through friction with their partner's body, are especially pleasurable and can increase the likelihood of reaching orgasm. Common fetishes. Sexual fetishes are intense desires towards objects, body parts, or specific situations. Some common fetishes include lingerie, feet, leather, latex, uniforms, and BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism. Community support. There are communities and support groups dedicated to open relationships where people can find guidance, resources, and camaraderie with others who share their lifestyle. Connection. Between sex and happiness, studies have shown that sexually active individuals tend to report higher levels of life satisfaction and overall happiness, although relationship quality and personal satisfaction also play a significant role. Control exercises. Control exercises such as the stop-start technique can help men learn to delay ejaculation and improve control over their sexual response. Creating a sensual environment. Carefully preparing the environment for foreplay with soft lighting, gentle music, and seductive scents can help create a sensual atmosphere that stimulates all the senses. Cultural differences in sex education. 
cultural differences influence the sex education received by individuals, including messages about sexuality, sexual pleasure, and acceptable sexual practices. Cultural influence on sexuality. Sexual attitudes and practices are influenced by cultural, religious, and social factors, resulting in a wide range of norms and expectations surrounding sex. Curable and chronic STDs. Some STDs, such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, are curable with proper treatment, while others, such as HIV and genital herpes, are incurable and require long-term management. In countries like Iceland and Denmark, sexual education is included in the school curriculum from an early age, aiming to promote healthy relationships and prevent gender-based violence. Diversity in Sexual Orientations there are numerous sexual orientations beyond heterosexuality, including homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, and many more. Diversity in sexual orientations is natural and valid. Diversity of libido. Libido, or sexual desire, varies from person to person and can be influenced by physical, emotional, and social factors, as well as hormonal changes. Dual stimulation toys. Toys designed to provide simultaneous stimulation of the clitoris and G-spot, such as rabbit vibrators, are popular among women and can lead to more intense and satisfying orgasms. Effects on mental health. There has been debate about the potential negative effects of pornography on mental health, including addiction, erectile dysfunction, and sexual dissatisfaction. Emotional connection positions. For many women, sexual positions involving eye contact, hugs, and tender kisses are especially meaningful as they strengthen the emotional connection with their partner. Erectile dysfunction and partner support. Having the support and understanding of a partner can be crucial in overcoming erectile dysfunction. Open communication, empathy, and seeking solutions together can strengthen the relationship and help manage sexual challenges. Erectile dysfunction and quality of life. Erectile dysfunction can have a significant impact on a man's quality of life, affecting self-esteem, relationships, and emotional well-being. It is important to seek medical help if experiencing persistent erection problems. Erectile dysfunction and sleep disorders. Sleep apnea and other sleep disorders may be associated with an increased risk of erectile dysfunction due to their impact on testosterone levels and cardiovascular health. Ethics of open relationships. Many people in open relationships follow a set of ethical principles that include honesty, respect, and mutual consent as fundamental pillars of their lifestyle. Exploration of fantasies. Foreplay offers a safe space to explore shared or individual sexual fantasies, which can strengthen trust and communication in the relationship. Eye contact. Eye contact during foreplay can increase intimacy and emotional connection between partners, creating a sense of complicity and shared excitement. Female masturbation. Although historically taboo, Female masturbation is a common and healthy practice that can help women explore their bodies and experience sexual pleasure. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.